So I've been dealing with some internet issues these past couple days, but still have to do some live streaming. So on this Instagram takeover, let's talk about how you can still send out great videos even when you don't have the greatest internet connection. But first off, thank you everybody for joining. For those, this is your first time tuning into one of these Instagram takeovers. I am Dan Petrick. I am one of the co-founders of Switcher Studio and the senior product educator. So with these Instagram takeovers, we like to give you guys a lot of great information about live streaming, be that uh, features within Switcher Studio or just general tips and tricks on how to make better video. So my network has not been holding up great these past couple days. It's been up, down, up, down. One day I'm getting... 40 megabits per second download speed, 10 megabits upload speed, great for doing 1080p streaming. And then the next moment I'm getting two megabits of upload speed and download speed. So um, that can be really frustrating at times, uh, but hopefully using these tips, we can help you guys put out better video even when you run into these issues. So the first thing you should always try if your network is acting up, uh, and this is the, the joke you always hear is, have you tried turning it off and back on again? Go locate your modem and your router, unplug both of them, wait 10 seconds. A few moments later. Plug them back in, let the internet come back um, and see if that's gonna help you out. A lot of times that's all it needs. Uh, they might just get overloaded a little bit and a reset is gonna, gonna fix everything for you. In fact, this is just a generally good idea to do before any time you go live. Restart everything, your computer, your iPad, your modem, your router, all that stuff, just to give it a fresh restart and make sure that nothing's gonna slow you down or bog down that stream. Second thing to always check is a speed test. So run a speed test of your internet to see what sort of speeds you are getting. I recommend doing these speed tests on more than one website, just because the different websites will use different servers and depending on which one they're using, you might get uh, different variations on your actual speeds. So just hearing them from a different, couple different places is a good way to do that. Um, I always use speedof.me. I really like that um, as the first one I'm gonna check. I will check speedtest.net sometimes. You can also log into switcherstudio.com into the Switcher Studio dashboard, start to create a custom RTMP stream and we have the speed test built in right there. That's gonna already tell you what um, quality you should be streaming at. So that's another great option for when you're running these speed tests. So the next thing to check out is removing devices from your network. Uh, it could be you just have a ton of devices all connected and they're all trying to use that same internet connection. And that's just gonna create a lower speed for everybody across the board. So making sure those other devices aren't being connected um, will help out greatly as well. And that's gonna account also for Switcher Studio. So um, if you set up maybe a four or five camera setup and you're realizing that's just not working great uh, for you, maybe try and disable some of those cameras just to make sure that everything's going well. This could also be an issue with your router. Um, if you're using an older router, it might be time to look at upgrading that router to a new one uh, if it just isn't able to handle as many devices on it. Depending on the network that you have set up, you can actually prioritize some devices on your network. For instance, I use the Google Mesh networks. I have a Nest router and a couple Google Pucks for in my home, here's what I use. And I can log into the app and choose what device Device I want to be prioritized for like the next hour or so. So anytime before I go live, I'll go in there and I'll prioritize my iPad to make sure that that's getting the best connection possible from my network. Um, so definitely check out your, the settings in your uh, network and see if that's something you can do as well, because it really can make a huge difference. Just the other day, I was doing a live stream um, on Facebook and my computer was so slow, I could not even um, play back the the video, however, the stream went out great, no problems at all, had no buffering um, at all. So uh, definitely a great option there. If you're seeing that the speeds are going up and down a whole bunch, it might be that you're too far away from that access point or something. Um, so moving close to that access point can help as well. Or another thing you can try doing uh, is running an ethernet cable. So uh, you can do that with iPhones and iPads. It's pretty simple. You just need a couple adapters. I've got them here. So this is an Apple Ethernet adapter. So this has USB on one side and Ethernet. So you'll plug your Ethernet in here. 
And then you'll use, depending on the device you have, you'll either use this one. This is the um, USB camera adapter, lightning to camera adapter. So you plug your adapter, your, the ethernet adapter into there. You'll also need to make sure that you're charging this. So make sure that this is also being charged because uh, the ethernet requires power. So that right there will get you um, ethernet into your iPad or iPhone. If you're using one of the new iPads that has USB-C, uh, Apple also has the multi-port, which has the USB HDMI, I guess it's the other way. And then you also have your USB-C for charging there. So uh, that will also work really well. Um, definitely use the Apple official products for this. I've seen some third-party ones on Amazon get used and to vary with varying results. Sometimes they're going to work awesome all the time. Sometimes they work great for a week, two weeks, a month, and then they just stop working. Sometimes they just will never work out of the box. So, um, you know, just cut the losses. I recommend using the Apple official adapters for this. And of course, another thing you're always going to want to do is run a test stream. Uh, if you're using Switcher Studio, open up your Facebook, link your Facebook account, and do a private test stream. This will stream just your timeline. It'll be available for only for you, so anybody following your page isn't going to see it. Um, it just shows up for you. You can watch it back, make sure it looks okay. It's not buffering. Everything's good to go, and then you'll know you're ready to go live. And the last thing I'll talk about here today as far as networking is don't be afraid to drop your quality. If you do all these tests and you realize that you're not going to be able to send out a 1080p or 720p stream, don't be afraid to drop that quality down. A lot of times you can still get great looking video even if you select a lower quality. Um, and the main way I recommend doing that is with great lighting. Um, just a few weeks ago, Ryan in one of these Instagram takeovers did an awesome, awesome video that talks all about lighting and how to set that up. Um, I think we also have a couple write-ups on the blog about lighting. So you can go to switcherstudio.com slash blog, search lighting, and you'll find some awesome stuff out there as well. I'll also mention um, that you know most people are watching on one of these devices on their iPhone or iPad and it's going to be a smaller screen so having that um, the lower quality isn't going to matter as much it's really when people blow it up and have it on like a full big screen TV or something is when they might see those issues so yeah don't be afraid to lower that quality as long as the audio sounds good you have good lighting the video is going to be great um, and you're going to be all set so that's my rundown that's my checklist of stuff that i do whenever i'm running into networking issues a lot of that stuff is stuff i'm going to do before i go live every single time anyways and if i'm going to a new location i'm always always going to check out all this stuff just to make sure the network's uh, gonna hold up all right for me Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for more of these. I know Ryan will be back next week. I'll be back the week after with more of these fun videos. So um, if you like them, please comment below. Let us know. If there's anything you'd like to see us make, uh, please put that down there as well. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you in a few weeks.